The universe is a vast, mysterious place encompassing everything we've ever known, observed, or could ever hope to come into contact with. For millennia, a look up at the sky, our window into the cosmos beyond our world, was met with wonder, awe, and a fascination with the unknown. Thanks to all the scientific advances made by civilizations across the globe, we now know that the points of light in the sky are stars found grouped together in galaxies, which cluster together on the largest scales in a universe that began with our Big Bang a finite amount of time ago, 13.8 billion years. However, knowing that doesn't mean we know everything. Join us on this cosmic journey scientists discovered a colossal galaxy beyond our universe. In fact, the more we learn about the universe, the more we realize it is not what we expected. Throughout history, our understanding proved to be wrong, and surprises never seem to end. Accordingly, the experts are confronted over and over again with entities and processes that take known conclusions to absurdity. This includes an equally interesting and puzzling spectacle that scientists recently uncovered in an alien galaxy. What makes this new discovery so confusing, and what questions does it raise? All this and more will be discussed in today's episode of History of the Universe. For as long as humans have roamed the Earth, we have sought to find our place in the cosmos. From the city-states of ancient Greece to the soaring capstones of the Egyptian pyramids, across the deserts and towering mountains of ancient China, down to the rolling plains of Mesoamerica, humans have sought to understand how the universe works. They developed mathematics to trace the motions of the planets, estimated the circumference of the Earth by walking from city to city, created star tables and timekeeping devices, and even recorded celestial events like Halley's Comet, Supernova, and Eclipses. With time, we have refined our models of the universe. Using ellipses, Johannes Kepler reconfigured celestial motions. Galileo revolutionized Copernicus's heliocentric model of the solar system by discovering that the Sun, not the Earth, is the body around which all other elements of the solar system orbit. Isaac Newton developed the theory of gravity, which was later supplanted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Discovery by discovery, we paint in the gaps of the picture of our universe, and yet somehow with each brush stroke, that image morphs evolving into something ever-changing, new, and unrecognizable. The universe that Kepler and Galileo, Copernicus and Kepler, Newton and Galileo, and even Einstein understood, is different from the one we know today. Today's understanding of the universe is unsettling. It is not one that fits in a tidy little box with neat lines and a perfect lid. Our universe is mystifyingly complex, it defies expectations. For starters, our universe is not a static, enclosed entity. Our universe is expanding from everywhere all at once. The fabric of space-time is stretching away from everywhere else like an inflating balloon, carrying galaxies along with it. Photons traveling the lanes of the cosmos are stretched along with space-time, their wavelengths growing ever longer, or redder, thus redshifting with the expansion of space. Our universe isn't expanding into anything. To our knowledge, there is no extra dimension around the universe. Rather, space itself is expanding, causing the space between galaxy clusters, the largest gravitationally bound objects in the universe, to get bigger and bigger with time. And this leads us to the following unsettling conclusion, there's no center to our universe. Everywhere is the center, because everything, Everywhere is moving away from everything else all at once. But the universe isn't just expanding. It's accelerating. With each passing moment, an unknown repulsive persistent force, dubbed dark energy, is stretching the fabric of the universe. Dark energy is a fundamental property of space itself, invisible, smooth, and constant. And yet, we are entirely unsure what it truly is. And then there is dark matter, the invisible, clumpy matter that binds galaxies together. In many ways, dark matter is the corollary to dark energy. Where dark energy stretches space apart, 
dark matter knits matter together. They are both invisible, neither interacts with radiation or light, and yet they are ever present. Dark matter acts as the cosmic glue for large scale structure formation, and dark energy is a principal ingredient in the universe's evolution. The afterglow of the Big Bang, known as the cosmic microwave background, is imprinted on the fabric of spacetime, a relic of radiation from when the universe was extraordinarily hot, dense, and smooth. By mapping its bumps and irregularities and comparing with galaxy surveys, scientists have found that 70% of the universe is made up of dark energy. Meanwhile, 25% of the universe is dark matter. Just 5% of the universe is ordinary matter. The remaining 95% of the universe is stuff that we can't see and don't yet understand. As such, despite everything we've learned about our universe, there are many existential questions that remain unanswered. We don't know if our universe is finite or infinite in extent. We only know that its physical size must be greater than the portion we can observe. We don't know whether our universe encompasses all that exists or whether it's only one of many universes making up a multiverse. And we remain ignorant about what happened in the earliest stages of all, in the first tiny fraction of a second of the hot Big Bang, as we lack the necessary evidence to draw a robust conclusion. But one thing we are certain about is that the universe has an edge, not in space, but in time. Because the hot Big Bang occurred at a known finite time in the past, 13.8 billion years ago, with an uncertainty of less than 1%, there's an edge to how far away we can see. Even at the speed of light, the ultimate cosmic speed limit, there's a fundamental limit to how far back we can see. The farther away we look, the farther back in time we're able to see. And now, thanks to our best measurements of the part we can see, we're finally figuring out what lies beyond and how much of it we will someday be able to perceive and explore. But before delving into the unimagined object in space, you must first note that when astronomers talk about the universe, they almost always mean the observable universe. The word observable does not refer to the capability of technology to receive signals from distant galaxies or even if there is anything out there to be detected. Rather, it is a limit based on the speed of light itself. No signal can travel faster than the speed of light, meaning that there is a maximum distance since the start of the universe beyond which nothing could have been detected. There simply hasn't been enough time for light to reach us. This distance is called the particle horizon, which is analogous to the event horizon of a black hole. The universe can be assumed to be isotropic in all directions, which means that every location has its own observable universe when considered as the center or observer. When the world's most powerful space observation instrument, the James Webb Space Telescope, focused its sharp infrared eyes on deep space, it detected a galaxy called JZ GSZ-13-0, found in the constellation Fornax. Jade's GSZ-13-0 is amongst the furthest known galaxies from Earth ever discovered and is at the edge of the observable universe. Due to the isotropic nature of space, if you were an inhabitant of this fairly small galaxy, the Earth would be at the edge of your observable universe. The light from Jade's GSZ-13-0 was observed to be about 13.4 billion years old, less than 400 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was only 2% of its current age. In fact, the observation of this galaxy so soon after the first stars were born presented a challenge to certain theoretical models of galaxy formation. One might expect that this age would mean that Jade's GSZ-13-0 would be 13.4 billion light years away from Earth. However, the actual distance to the galaxy is 33.6 billion light years. How can this be? If the age of the universe is roughly 13.8 billion years, surely there hasn't been enough time for light to cover such a distance. The difference between the so-called light travel distance and the actual distance is due to the expansion of spacetime. 
Imagine two dots on a deflated balloon, each representing a galaxy. If we inflate the balloon, we would observe the dots moving apart. The rubber of the balloon represents space, meaning the very medium in which the galaxies exist expands. Edwin Hubble observed galaxies moving apart, and indeed galaxies further away from Earth appear to be moving away from us faster than galaxies which are closer. Hubble used the analogy of raisins in a loaf of bread, which is more accurate than the balloon example, as space expands in three dimensions rather than two. Another important effect of the expansion of space is the effect on the wavelength of light. If we imagine a dash slowly traveling across the balloon between the two dots, it will get longer as the balloon expands. This is the same thing that happens to light as it travels. Its wavelength increases. The increase in wavelength and a corresponding decrease in light's energy is known as redshifting. It is by measuring the redshift of light from distant galaxies that we can derive cosmological distances. All this means that in the time it took for light to travel from Jade's GSC 13 0 to Earth, the distance between the two points in space has greatly increased. In fact, the distance from Earth to the edge of the observable universe is currently 46 billion light years. The observable universe will continue to expand as time progresses, but interestingly, we will be able to see fewer and fewer objects. The universe is expanding faster than the speed of light, and so galaxies at the very edge, which we can see now, will in time become more and more redshifted and eventually disappear entirely. A time will come when all but the Milky Way and its galactic neighbors will be visible to an observer on Earth like a single lighthouse on a pitch black shore. So, how do we know the speed at which space expands? Measuring the rate of expansion is difficult. Edwin Hubble first described this process in 1929, and with this discovery, the speed of expansion was dubbed the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant describes the relationship between distance and the speed at which galaxies move away from Earth. If a galaxy is at a certain distance from Earth, it moves away at a speed directly proportional to that distance. However, the Hubble constant has proven to be controversial. The process of measuring the distance of a galaxy is based on certain calibrations that require a series of successive approximations. If the initial calibration is slightly inaccurate, that error is then propagated along the whole distance chain. Moreover, the greater the distance to the object, the more difficult the measurement becomes. The most precise method of measuring the distance to galaxies and determining the Hubble constant relies on supernova, particularly a specific type of supernova called type Ia. Type Ia supernova are extremely useful because they have a predictable peak brightness, which means they can be used as standard candles for distance measurements. By comparing the observed brightness of a type Ia supernova to its known intrinsic brightness, astronomers can calculate its distance. Additionally, Cepheid variable stars, which have a well-defined relationship between their luminosity and pulsation period, are used to measure shorter distances within galaxies. However, discrepancies have been observed between different methods of determining the Hubble constant, leading to a tension in the values obtained. One method, based on the cosmic microwave background radiation, suggests a lower value for the Hubble constant while methods using supernova and Cepheid variables yield higher values. This tension remains an active area of research in cosmology and highlights the complexity of accurately measuring the rate of the universe's expansion. Understanding the expansion of the universe and the distance to galaxies is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope and other advanced observatories continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, revealing new and unexpected phenomena that challenge our current understanding. As we explore deeper into the universe, we are likely to encounter more surprises and refine our models, bringing us closer to comprehending the true nature of our universe and its evolution over billions of years.
Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.